um, Mr. President, what would you like to say to residents from the border regions to Venezuela who are in fear of what might happen after the December 3 referendum? I would say to residents that we are ensuring that we take all necessary steps, we are taking all action to ensure that our territorial integrity, sovereignty is protected at all times, even after December 3rd, that we are not taking anything lightly, but we are confident that uh, we will be able uh, to have a situation where our uh, territory is secure and our sovereignty and territorial integrity is intact. And uh, to ensure that they too uh, rely on the structured agency to have their uh, information set. And I know for sure the police and the uh, Ghana Defense Force are engaging those residents continuously, ensuring that they are reassured of our presence. The Chief of Staff himself and other uh, colonels and, and, and uh, senior functionaries in the Ghana Defense Force um, would have visited many times in the last three weeks. The National Security Advisor, I think, also visited. This, we have Maybe I would say five to six briefings every day because of the speed at which we were able to generate information uh, from the borders. So I am very confident of the work we are doing. I am very confident of the work the Guyana Defense Force is doing, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and I believe that good sense will prevail. I believe that uh, the peace of this region must be important also for Venezuela, but we are not taking anything for granted and we are putting all systems in place. Thank you. Mr. President, there are reports that some of these residents are being told to move out from their villages and come to Georgetown. What sort of assurance? From who? Who, who, who is giving them this? There are just reports of because of that, 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 that's yeah. happening close by that may be out of fear. There is absolutely no reason to move from anywhere. There is absolutely no reason. Absolutely no reason. Those, uh, that is the type of fear mongering that people are, are pushing on social media, but there's absolutely no reason. And uh, the guy in defense force, uh, they are working very steadily, and as I said before, I'm confident in the, their ability, the work that they are doing, and the type of discussions we are having with our partners. Thank you.